man's end is that he's going to try to fight the holy angels when the second coming of Hamashi Yahushai comes to pass. This is that same old serpent, the deceiver. They're pushing lies upon our people. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 23. Till they dart, strike through his liver, as a bird hasten to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Scripture say that many devices are coming to the world, which is why you have all these false flags. One thing happens, and then all of a sudden, there's a new uh, 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 monkey juice uh, being offered. It was what the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the crown seven juice, and then all of a sudden there, it doesn't exist. Got that uh, cracker is a liar, and the father of it. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, for he witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world? Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, say, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Because you have to have what? The coming of the RFID chip. Martial law, FEMA camps. The RFID chip being the mark of the beast, which will be mandated throughout the whole earth. So when you see uh, these chip and chip stations set up, you can, many will be coerced into taking the RFID chip. And then they're going to be condemned to the lake of fire, which is during the second coming of Hamashi Yom Shai, who you call Jesus Christ. When he returns with the holy angels, the chariots, which are the so-called UFOs that you read about in the Holy Bible. Many will be destroyed in that day. The Lord reigns thermonuclear fire upon America, Babylon, the Great. And then the commencement of World War III. All hell breaking loose. Matthew 24 and 7, for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Which is why the Holy Bible says what? That we are as, like it was in the book of Revelation chapter 12, the woman travailing to bring forth, which was mainly talking about Mary, the, the father of Yahweh Shai, the mother of Yahweh Shai bring forth her son, but now we're travailing to be brought forth as a remnant and being delivered. Which is why the scriptures say, the captain exile hasteneth that he may be loose, and that his bread may not fail.
This is a book, John, chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the work that I do, shall he do also. Greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. So spiritual power is coming. A great deliverance is coming to the remnant of the Israelites. And two-thirds of our people, they have to be destroyed. You are the nations that are here in America, Babylon, and Rape. You're going to be destroyed. The Edomites that are here, you're going to be destroyed. There will, there will hardly be any remaining from Armageddon. Only the wicked elite, the rich uh, Edomites, and a, and a few of you other nations scattered throughout the world will remain for World War III. There you're going to be put into chains. You're going to go into slavery for a thousand years. Right along with the so-called white man. And then the so-called white man is going to be up die at 1 in 18. Meaning the cancer of the earth is going to be cut off in that day. For good. John 14 to 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. I will pray to the Father, He will give you another comforter that may abide with you forever. I'm talking about the bugged out Muhammad. I'm talking about the Holy Scriptures, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Understanding, which will guide us into all things. And I'm also saying God is not the author of confusion. The scriptures say that you cannot make this book with any other book. It says, Seek out the word of the Lord. And do not and do not make this book with another book. John 14 and 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Which is why it says in the book of John that those who worship the Most High God will worship Him in spirit and in truth. In truth and in the former ways which the Most High God gave unto His people. John chapter 14 and verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, bring all things to you, to your remembrance, whatsoever I said unto you. So like it says in Psalms 111, he hath given meat unto them, to what remember the former ways. And those that have to keep his commandments have a great understanding. Why? Because you're constantly going to be meditating in his word. You're going to do the will of him that sent you according to your individual uh, understanding. Which is why the Most High God gave Adam a way, not just the law, statutes, and commandments, a way of life. And it's not about how you look. Like these other camps say, you got to have the fringes. The fringes are the purpose in order to remember the commandments. And the Jews won inwardly. So we do not disannul the law, but we keep the law, but we're not justified by it. Has raised up what? Prophets in America, Babylon the Great, wise men, and scribes. And your job is to search whether these things be so. To grow in the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But only a, a remnant will understand. Many will follow after their own promiscuous ways. Will be coerced into taking our body chip. Will perish in martial law, FEMA camps. 
when the Most High God uses the so-called white man as the harbinger of death in order to fulfill the prophecies, the, his prophecies in these latter days. First Peter 4 and 14, if you be reproached for the name of Amashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory that God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Genesis 32, 31. And as he passed, he worked pretty well. The sun rose upon him, and he halted on his thigh. Talk about the forefather Jacob when he wrestled the angel down the fort Jabbat. His thigh uh, was healed, was loosed, and he was halt he was halting, meaning he was limping. It's talks about it's, it's talking about the infirmities that we will have, those that are preaching his word, whether it be in the flesh, whether it be in the spirit, whether we be right chance sign by of the Lord, these are all tests. So we all have uh, separate infirmities, separate things that we that we have to constantly overcome. Why? Because the scriptures say that these things would happen. So no, we're not perfect. Some of us may have certain certain lusts to overcome, certain things. But our job is to what? Endure unto the end. Preach the word. Call the people back to repentance. In the name of the Most High God. In the name of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Rekakodash. And we give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. So whether you like it, believe it or not, the Most High God is forward in his prophecies and bringing them to pass in these latter days. You're going to have the coming of the RFID chip, martial law, FEMA camps. And then the Most High God is going to bring thermonuclear fire upon America, Babylon, the Great, as prophesied in Ezekiel chapter 38. Gog and Magog in the, in the company of many nations, the BRICS AI nation. Those that are once weak, now they're saying, now they're saying they're strong. So the Lord his spirit is in the midst of the earth. And we're telling you, thus saith the Holy Bible, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You must seek the most high God, while he still may be found. Call upon his name, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Seek the prophecies of the Holy Bible, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 19. And was not Paul the apostle given authority in the flesh? But our, our, our grace is what saves us in these latter days through the living sacrifice that Amashi and Yahushai gave unto us. In order to what? Overcome the uh, the uh, the uh, the, the, the technicalities of the law. Zephaniah 3 and 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out, and I will give them praise and fame in every land, where they have been put to shame. At that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name, and be praised among all people of the earth, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith Yahweh. This is the book of Micah, chapter 4, and verse 6. In the day, in that day, saith the Lord, I will assemble her that haunted, I will gather her that is driven out her that I have afflicted, I will make her that halted, a remnant, it's talking about the delicate and comely woman, which is the vision that John Revelator saw, which was the nation of Israel, 
parabolic. That was symbolic for the nation of Israel. And that will make her that halted, a remnant, and her that is cast afar off, a strong nation. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth, even forever. So in that day, we will be made perfect. When we, do, when we descend back as that new city, which is a people. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them, take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. So the hand of the Lord is what? Amashia Yahu Shai. And it's also a servant of the prophets as well. The elect started with 144,000. The great multitude will be delivered out of America, Babylon the Great. To take them out of their nuclear bunkers. After all these things come to pass. After the elect will give a spiritual power and fight the armies of the earth in the valley of decision, which is Armageddon. Then to go into the midst of the whole earth, gather those that survived from Armageddon, World War III, put them in the chains, starting with the wicked elite Edomites, the first fruits of slavery. So you have the first fruits of, fruits of the elect, the firstborn, the first begotten uh, uh, creation fallen Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So the Most High God is dealing with the Spirit. The day is going to gather what? Those that are in the heavens and in earth. Because you're going to have the dead being raised up. Which is why Omar Shigyah said, those that are last will be first. Those that are first will be last. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16. 15. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. So Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, was tempted as well, but he was perfect in the law. He was made perfect because he, had, he was given the Spirit in full measure, without measure. Hebrews 4 and 16, let us therefore come, bo come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need, which is talking about doing this work, prophesying unto the end, warning our people about these things that are coming. Martial law, FEMA camps, World War III, all hell breaking loose in America, Babylon, the great. Second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7. At least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations that was given to me, a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. have what? The holy angels on the right hand side, which are commanded by the Heavenly Father, which is part of what makes up the Holy Spirit. Those that, the, the, the angels that encamped around them, around them that fear Him, His ministers, which are flames of fire. And then you have uh, Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, on the left hand side, which most High God controls as well. But the scriptures say, the grace and mercy is unto his saints. He has care for his elect. So the Heavenly Father works through all and all. Why? Because he has spoken and, it has, and has been made according to the wisdom and the spirit of his mouth. book 
Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore hell unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Say, Yahweh, because they call thee, and thou canst say, This is I am who no man seeketh after. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places. And the city shall be built upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, they shall not be small. The children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. The book of Psalms, chapter 68, and verse 18, through the power of spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive, thou hast received gifts for men, yeah, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. So the Lord God has given us the spirit of grace, the spirit of truth, and even the rebellious of our people, though they have a reprobate spirit on them, he's going to bring you back after you receive your judgment on this side. But the so-called white man, he has no forgiveness. If he, he blasphemed the Holy Ghost, taking on the form of the Holy Ghost, taking on the form of God, his people, Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our God is a God of salvation. So to the God, Yahweh, belong the issues from death. For God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such as one as goeth on still in his trespasses. So that's what's coming to two thirds of our people. They'll be coerced and they're taking the RFID chip. They'll be caught up in martial law, FEMA camps. And then they're gonna they're gonna uh, receive thermonuclear destruction. This is a book of Romans, chapter sixteen. Verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. For they are such, serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and Mashiach, but their own belly, by good words, fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. Romans 16 and 19, for your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. So we know the happenings of the Lord on the right hand side, which is through his spirit that he gives unto us to understand it. We know that he works on the left as well. Romans 16 and 20. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, be with you. Amen.
book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of our Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that more, which only a remnant will receive in, in, on this side. To point unto them that mourn as I am, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness and the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified by Hashem Mashiach Yahushai. So with that, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Hamukat Kudash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. We say, Kwame Ashwala, Bad Babo, Shalawah, 